What's up YouTube, and in today's video, we're going to be deleting the Sound Symposer on a 2014 Focus ST. Y'all stick around. These are all the tools that you're going to need for the job. You're going to need your wrench. You're going to need a few extenders to get those tricky bolts. You're going to need a torque bit, and then you're going to need an 8 mil bit. And then over here you got your actual kit, which comes with a plate, and then a block off for the cabin. And that's all you're going to need. So the Sound Symposer is located right there. You got bolt holding on on right there and two bolts holding on down there, right there and right there. So grab your, your wrench, place it into the socket very gently, and then just get those three bolts off. So finishing up these bolts, if you just take it off, then the actual symposer just falls down, and then you just grab a hold of it, and then just pull, and then that's the actual device that just lets all the sound into your cabin. And as you can see, there's this long snaking black hose back to right here, and that's where you're gonna go next. Looking down there, you only have one torque screw right there, which is a star head one, but to help your life out a little bit, you can go ahead and yank out this pipe, and that leads all the way down there to the firewall. And then you find this long snaking piece that really clutters up your engine bay. But coming around, you find your only one screw, which is down down to the right. So you just really want to start cranking away at that. And then this is the last bolt that you need to undo for you to actually take out the, the rest of the system. So I've already taken off that bolt. So now I have to do is grab the entire system and then pull it out. Um, you have your hose and then you have another connector which conveniently just snapped off. And then you just pull it all out. And there's the rest of the sound symposer just system deleted. Coming back to your supplies, you're going to then need the actual plate for blocking it off. And then you're going to need two bolts that actually came from the sound synchronizer. So you're going to grab your plate and then you're going to find right where it went in. So it goes in right there. And then you're just going to press that, press that in. And then you're going to grab your other two bolts and then screw it in. You're going to want these bolts pretty tight because it leads straight into the manifold, which is right here. And make sure that it has a seal too, because the manifold has boost going through it. And if there's a huge boost leak right there, then you'll be making lots less power and the car will be a lot slower. So coming over, you have your last part right there, which is the actual hole that leads through the firewall into the cabin. So you're just gonna grab the last piece of your kit, which is right here. And then go down there. And if you have a flexible hand, I have to do it. Put it in there, and then you're done. All I do is click in, and then I'll stay there. So you're all good. And that's how you delete your sound synchronizer. Before sound, before the delete of the sound symposer. All right, and this is after the sound symposer delete. So here we go. turbo just a bit more and since I have the exhaust I didn't really need that sound coming through the engine bay so this is very much a good mod um, it really declutters the engine bay a lot um, since that gigantic black hole hose is gone now and it lets you hear the turbo more and the blow off valve which is great for us 